The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. Hey guys, it's Mike from Tiny Pool, and I hope you guys enjoyed the Edmund Fitzgerald sinking video. I wanted to have a second version where I talked and added a little bit of context as I try to keep all my models when they sink as historically accurate as possible. Um, but one of the problems with the Edmund Fitzgerald is that all 29 crew members died. We have no survivor accounts and the last couple radio transmissions received from the ship they were having issues they reported a port list very last communication was that they were holding their own but the main consensus is they ran aground and were struck ground by caribou island and were taking on some water and then the wave big waves from the storm made the bow lose its buoyancy very quickly um, dig into the sea floor and the stern which still had some buoyancy snap broke off and that's how it broke apart that's the theory that I believe from everything that I've watched read and researched about it that's my theory as well so that's what I tried to portray in the video and being I try to keep all my videos and my models sinking as historically accurate as possible I just wanted to stop by and clarify that that I don't know if this is a hundred percent what happened but this is what I believed happened and um, I, I plan on doing the Daniel J Morrell later on this month I was also gonna do a video about her and her sister ship something that I've been working on slowly but surely over the last couple months and um, <clears throat> yeah the, the channel is gonna have some more content coming um, just so happy that we hit 300 subscribers I forgot to thank everybody thank you guys for 300 subscribers um, it means a lot I mean when I started doing this seven eight months ago the channel literally had one subscriber my daughter and uh, that was it and here we are I've had a couple videos hit 20,000 views and you know it, it feels nice and I didn't make any model boats for about a decade and getting back into it in the last year um, I'm starting to master some of my techniques and learn some new ones to add even more detail in so if there's any ships that you guys want done that aren't super famous let me know send me a picture of the ship uh, I'll do it um, I have a lot of the famous ships planned for when their sinking anniversary comes having the video drop on the day of the sinking anniversary like I did with this one and all my other ones um, and some new RC boats should be coming soon. Life starting to settle back down and get a little more normal. And, um, you know, budget opens up a little bit. I'm going to go get some more plastic. I already have, you know, RC components to put in. I just got to get the plastic. And, uh, but until then, I'm going to keep making them out of cardboard and I think even once I go back to making them out of the polystyrene and making reusable sinkable ships, I was also going to do cardboard ships that I guess would be original ships, not ships that are based off of something historic and sink those as like a weekly a weekly thing 
or a bi-weekly thing or something like that. But I'm just rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed the Edmund Fitzgerald video. I try to do my best. Um, I know the last two videos haven't been to the same par, but I'm working with a lot smaller pond instead of a pool. And I just want to keep making the ships and putting out videos for you guys. So if you guys enjoy it, enjoy sinking ships you know a friend that enjoys sinking ships just like comment subscribe it definitely helps get the channel more out there and um, until next time you guys have a wonderful day bye